Hi, me and Gigi's out there making it a great day. Hi, everybody. And I decided to uh, ask Gigi to meet up to go eat. Yes. And aren't you glad you showed up today? I am so yeah. happy. That, but you're a light eater, so I don't know if she's going to eat know, much. But we are in Orlando at a new place. They haven't been open too long. Uh, they had a grand opening in November called Orlando Meats. It's right a, behind us. It's a um, fresh, grass-fed, pasture-raised uh, local meats. They get it from different farms. They do make a lot of their stuff in here. And they have a restaurant. And we're going to try it. We're going to go look around, see what all they have. And that's coming at you right now. This is a very large, large shop, and it's a locally owned, owned business. I actually like it. It's really clean. I'm actually looking out. The it's upscaley, but yeah. in a casual type way. Yes, yeah, but they're very clean in the kitchen too. Oh, absolutely. You know, I, uh, definitely, food sanitation is very important to me. So if I recommend a place to come eat, this place come eat. We're gonna try it. Very clean in the back. Let's try it. Gigi, this here is the meat of the whole process back here. It does look like these are these are the meatballs. It looks like. Or are these the burgers? And they'd be nice meatballs too. Gigi, they have cases and cases and cases of, of meats here to choose from. And it's absolutely fabulous. You gotta come down here to Orlando Meats and check out all this. They have the beef stock here and all kinds of all kinds of meats. And they even got some sauces up here. And they got the old fat cat here. Here's the Siamese Sriracha fat cat. This one here is called the Naughty List. I wonder what the Naughty List tastes like. I'm not sure if that's a spread. It must be some kind of a spread. But it, it does sound naughty to me. My husband's from the islands and he always talks about, you know, the stuff that most people don't eat, like the tripe and the chicken feet and the gizzards, although I love fried gizzards myself. But I just found this package right here. It has feet, head, and gizzards. Feet, head, and gizzards. You can get the whole chicken right there. My husband would love it, so when he's out of the doghouse, I'll definitely buy him something like this. And you can also get your mojo working here, GG. They have that. I like the sound of this smokestack barbecued rub. And then get a little beef brigade going on over here as well. And they have a big list here on their wall of all their local suppliers. Uh, where they get a lot of their things here and all over the area from Claremont, Orlando, Ocoee, Avon Park, Claremont there, uh, all over the place, uh, a lot of different farms that's uh, providing uh, a lot of the meat and a lot of the products here. And they do have all kinds of chicken down here. You can get the wings, lots of wings here as well. And if you go up here, they got a lot of their uh, stuff that they do make here. Here's the mixed squash. There's something called zoodles. There's a lot of stuff here, Gigi, to come and, and take home to make, as well as eat here in their uh, in their restaurant. They have raw sauerkraut here. It looks, I never didn't know what raw sauerkraut looks like, but it looks kind of grape looking, it looks uh, purple. Pickles, they have extreme pickles here, and uh, I bet you those are probably pretty good. Gigi has found gator meat. Gator meat, and what better thing to get in Florida is gator meat. I bet you they have a gator sandwich here too. Orlando Meats is a whole animal butcher shop and restaurant. We're basically, an old school type of butcher shop. We bring the entire side of beef, pork, lamb, goats, break them down in house, fabricate all the cuts, make all the sausages, and then utilize the entire animal in a nose to tail fashion for our restaurant and for retail products out of the meat case. And we make all, all our sauerkraut, pickles, kimchi, we do a lot of natural fermentation, we render fat for lard and tallow. Uh, bone broths, we make it house as well, and then all the other processed meats we use in the kitchen for our sandwiches. But the most popular thing would be our medium rare burger. That's our signature item. It's our medium rare only, using the finest grass fed beef we get locally. We source everything locally, so it's all a farm to table operation. Uh, we make it's basically a, a really advanced sandwich shop, uh, to be honest with you. It's, it's all sandwiches mostly. We do a few plates, but we, we like to do is use a lot of different culinary techniques and methodologies to really create some interesting sandwiches and we mix up a lot of different cuisine in the process. Yeah, we have a full retail meat case, uh, cut to order, full service butcher shop. We come in here and cut anything off the carcass for you. Uh, different cut steaks, uh, sausages, 
Gross. Yeah. These special orders for the holidays, of course, are big for us. The grand opening was in November, early November. We had a long, long soft opening phase from the summer, like July to about November. But now we're in full swing now. The restaurant's fully open. The butcher shop's fully operational. A lot of beef and pork every week, so we're, we're rolling. They have some interesting names for these. There's a sandwich called the Ben Franklin I see, and I see a plate called uh, Sweet Boy Soup, and then one called Foghorn Leghorn, and a warning shot. And uh, there's one with some true thighs, too. Interesting. Well, the food has arrived here. Gigi didn't order anything. She's, I have to have some. I'm gonna take she's, she's gonna try it. Yes, it I'm is gonna. a meatball sub on uh, on, a, on a French plate on a French bread, and it's got some coleslaw, and it looks like some chips, and maybe some homemade chips there. It does look like. So it smells really good, and it looks really good. So. She's getting ready to try a piece. There's so much meat in this shop, she can't find it. You watch, she'll take a bite of that and then she'll want one. It smells really fabulous. It does smell delicious. I am gonna taste the coleslaw. I don't know if it's homemade, we will ask them. It does look like it is. Gigi is washing it down because she does not, she's not, not, not too fond of the mustard in the coleslaw. So I haven't tried it yet, so I don't, I'm, I love mustard, so I'll probably love it. This um, meatball, I believe it's, it's, they make them, the hand, the homemade, right? Homemade. Farm fed and grass raised meat. Well, Gigi, um, I got the meatball. And it was okay. I, I, I'm going to be honest. Uh, there's some other YouTubers that went and gave their opinion. And super nice staff. Very clean restaurant. Very clean. Sanitation is on point. It is on point. They have a lot of stuff to choose from that you can't buy and take home. Yes. I, I, maybe I, I, I'm i used to uh, certain types of marinara sauce. Uh, my grandmother was Italian. So uh, it has to be a certain so-so with me. And that was... In between, it was sort of a little spicy, on the, the taste of it, and the meat, not quite, it was like a medium rare, and I'm, I'm a full, I didn't know that, that they was going to make it medium rare, and I, I'm a fully cooked type of guy, uh, myself, uh, maybe I should have picked a different option, I'm not sure, but, uh, if you're if you like it they will cook it the way you want it and, yes and, which is a plus which is a plus and just and, be sure and say that you want it well done and not be right rare. otherwise i think it might have had a little bit better i might have said well yes it was awesome it was good um she didn't like the coleslaw because it had mustard she didn't like mustard i'd never seen coleslaw made with mustard usually mayonnaise right i thought it was mayo but you know hey, yeah but i'm a ma mustard type person so i loved it i loved it it was good you i ate liked, the whole thing i you ate all the it. all the coastal and they had some homemade chips were not bad at all chips were good chips were good and they had a lot of the foreign mexican sodas and stuff to choose from a lot of he more healthy choices in here uh for you to get and options and you can get the meats and stuff to go. Like Me, I said, personally, I would actually come and buy the meat. They looked very fresh. They looked new. They look clean. Exactly. Not like it's been sitting in a refrigerator in some of the supermarkets. No names. <laughs> but some of the supermarkets where they start getting old and start tarnishing, they look really fresh in here. And they had a lot of different types of meats. Especially if you're an islander, you know what I'm talking about. Come down here because you can get all those different types of meats that you don't find in a regular grocery store. So check them out in the link, uh, link in our description. That's Orlando Meats, the yes. place to come to get your meat and throw it out on the on the grill over the heat. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful meat in there. Yeah, you, beautiful. You just want to just grab it and just grill it. Yeah, come here to Orlando Meats, get your meat, take it home, and put it on the heat. And I'm thinking right. maybe this Some would be that? really good for like a, a vegan person or. Yeah, absolutely. Somebody that kind of serious diet and stuff because the yeah. spices was not on the meatballs. And well, and the, and the sandwich wasn't as big as I thought it would be, but it was just enough. It was fine. Right. So if uh, you have some medical issues and stuff, and this is a place where you might be able to come in and enjoy your sandwich. Me personally, I'm used to all my sauces and salt and all my yeah. ingredients. So. <laughs> That's just me, we're though. pigs. Yeah, we're, that's just all. Hey, and they had a whole head of a pig in there, too. Oh, yeah, that was cool. It was cool. some pretty interesting cool. stuff. I'm used to that, though. I'm an islander, so I'm used to that. Keep hitting that subscribe button. We appreciate that. 
We're going to go out there, continue to make it a great day. Go out there and make it a great day because you deserve it, baby. Peace.